the stuff on the shelves to begin with, but that's fine. We only need to get 3,000 sales total. I think it'll take us less than an in-game week. Oh, never mind. Hold on. We did have some stuff coming. <laughs> he did oh, there's not enough space for him. My mistake. That's how you open boxes? Yeah, you got a problem? Looks like you're, you're dislocating your shoulder. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to run a serious, uh, serious business here, if you don't mind. Hello. And then they don't pressure you. At, at these luxury places, They the way that they pressure you is they kind of like, they look at you a lot to be like, do you really, like, I'm, I'm judging you right now. I'm like, are you capable of getting in here? I don't, like, can you even afford the stuff that's in here? I don't know. That's how I feel when I'm inside of them anyway. $36 shirt. I didn't realize we were running a charity. <laughs> I gotta sell a hundred of those? Yeah, they do have like a bodyguard outside, huh? What's up with that? Hi. 13 seconds. Yes, madam. Can I tell you about shirts? Very interesting. Wow, she's unsellable. That's the final boss. Would you like to enter the store? Have you considered entering the store? You're interested. I've never seen this store. Oh, we have a wide selection of shirts. How about pants? Dude, what are these? Are the, like the most discerning customers in gaming history. We sell pants. I am in desperate need of that. Okay, then come on in, dude. There we go. There we go. I haven't seen this store. Oh, we sell shirts. I'm in desperate need of that. I could, I could just tell. <laughs> I haven't seen this store. He's a shirt man. Very interesting. What about pants? How do you feel about those? I could take a look at those. All right, here you go. That right. good. Saved. Saved. You know what I've been wondering? Why don't more stores use the Turkish ice cream model? You know what I mean? Like, when you buy Turkish ice cream, they always... They, they whip it around on that stick, and then, like, they give it to you to grab, but then, like, when you grab it, they pull it out because there were two cones, and now you're just holding an empty cone. And they're like, then they're like, hold the cone out, and... Like... Hey, goo. Why don't they do that with like, like pants and stuff? Like, oh, you want these pants? Oh, you, and then they like put them on you, and then they pull them down, and actually, it's just it's not pants. It's just I don't know, shorts. Yeah, something like that. Just think about it. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm, just, I'm the idea, man. Oh, are you interested in the yellow flannel? That's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? Let me restock some of them, just in case you want to buy in bulk. Oh, goo. Oh, goo. Oh, sorry. You want to check out, huh? You want to pay for those? You didn't pay online? Yeah, dude, you're right. Pharmacy should work like that. You want your prescription? Oh, turns out, sorry, it's not Percocet. It's just Tic Tacs. <laughs> I'm sure that wouldn't... I'm sure that wouldn't cause any problems at the pharmacy. Sure. Oh, yeah, you're right. Like, don't even get me started. It already takes too long at the pharmacy. Shirts. You want some shirts? You know you want them. Get it. You see... She kicked in the glass on her way! What the heck? You hear this music? I gotta tell you, this was not a, a banner day. I haven't seen this store before. What do you sell? Shirts? If the perfect one shows up, I might buy it. How about pants? If the perfect one shows up, I might buy it. All right. Guess what? <laughs> I'm getting mobbed out here. I have no interest in shirts. How about pants? Got them. What do we sell shirts? I could take a look at those. Got her. Oh, she's done. Okay, we got to get on that register before this guy leaves. It's a- Kate, this is a great game. I- Can you imagine real world? 
working like that, people just wondering, what do you sell here? <laughs> it's like, it's pretty easy to tell. Dude, we had some pretty good sales today. Apparently, I've, I've been told in chat I need to use a computer to market the store to celebrities. I, I can I can get that done. I can accomplish that. <laughs> what do we even have in storage? Oh, just yellow flannels, man. Plus, the music is is on point, Kate. Aspiring streamer? Oh no, he just wants the pants. Dude, he's wearing exactly the same shit as you. He's what, just not bald. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's your doppelganger. He just what, looks like you too. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I think you found your long lost brother. Well, this guy's 75 years old. He looks, he looks just like you. <laughs> You know, sir, those those shirts and pants are really kind of like a matching set. You're not supposed to pick and choose. That was a good sale, though. Good sale. Dude, not a bad first day. I know I said that it wasn't what we thought it would be, but it, it turned out okay. <gasps> oh, the baby laugh. <gasps> I was sitting there with the, the like stone face to laughter yesterday and she was losing her mind. It's a little too much, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sir? Mm -hmm. Okay, see you soon, baby. Mm -hmm. There's a nice little interlude there. Ma'am, the store is now closed. This better be... I'm adding a hundred bucks to the top of this bill. Ah! I'm okay. Just hit my elbow. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know we need inventory. How much does a computer cost? 100 bucks? That's sick. <laughs> I would like to use it to market to celebrities. Immediately. We don't want to sell. We just want them to know who we are. It's alright. We'll, we'll work on the rest of that tomorrow. Yeah, we got rid of uh, highlighted messages. Bop, bop, and I'll do it again. So 100% we cannot order to minimum storage. Did we not set up minimum? I thought we set up minimum storage. Disappeared on us. You have leftover stuff being delivered that didn't fit. You know what? You're absolutely right. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Nah, we, we can't take out loans in, um... In, uh, single store mode, or in corporation mode, we can't take out loans. What didn't you like about highlighted messages? Um... Let, let's flip that on its, uh, on its side. What is there to like about highlighted messages?
Oh, you can just not in this store. Okay. I like it because it highlights my messages. Exactly. That's it, it's it's a waste of uh, it's obnoxious in my opinion. There's nothing else to spend points on. Yeah, I think I like honestly as of right now, we can like get rid of points. But I do I kind of like the um, like the emote modification and stuff like that, and the ability for non subs to buy emotes with channel points. It's not a huge thing. Um, but it, it's something to do with the channel points. And I think the, the modified emotes are funny. Bets uh, completely ruined chat. And uh, there's no plan to return them <laughs> as of the present moment. Highlighted messages also uh, ruined chat. The atmosphere has been way better since since bets were turned off. There's no doubt about it. Bets are my favorite part of the Twitch experience. It's not even part of the Twitch experience, though. Like, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Like, if it's your... Uh, if that's what you like, it's what you like, but it's really like, <laughs> it's just troubling, I guess, is what it comes down to. <laughs> if you don't like watching the content of the stream and the only reason you're here is to, you know, get the dopamine from simulated gambling, then like, you know, by all means, feel free to, to go to a channel that allows you to, to gamble. But here we're just, we're exclamation point vibes, we're a good vibes only stream. If we come up with a good idea uh, for points, we'll do it. But I'm not, I, I don't really, uh, we talked about it a lot during uh, Randomizer. I'm more about like, you know, I'm not being snobby about it and saying like, we got the best on-screen product you'll ever find on Twitch. Oh, I think I uh, scared her. It's more like, um, you know, the, I mean, the chat with the betting was terrible. People were just mean, really. And like maybe in their head they were like being mean as a joke, but it's it's hard to you know make that uh, delineation at runtime when you've got like three thousand people calling you an idiot because you took like two oysters instead of a diver. Maximum need, unfortunately low hat. Why don't you just come into the store? You got no interest in shirts. What about pants? Very interested. Okay. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one. Yeah, people were really mean to the mods, too. It's just a bad vibe. Like, I think there's ways you could probably do it creatively, but again, I'm not really interested in running, like, a, a digital virtual casino. And we, we ran them for, like, a month and a half, too. People had a chance. Okay, there we go. We got some sales coming in today. Oh, um, not really. I haven't seen this store. We sell shirts. All right. There you go. Check one of those out. Yeah, I, yeah, I got time. I want the pants. Okay, then then get them. Don't let me stop you. Okay, that's absurd. I, I, I could not meet those high standards. I want the shirt. Nailed it. You're welcome. Fifty-seven. Yeah, it's not like, I mean, don't take this the wrong way. It's not like a plebiscite, though. <laughs> it's pretty much what it comes down to. The The vibe has been much better since... Uh, impossible. Since, uh, since the bets have been off, for sure. Yo, thank you for the cheer. Moniature, appreciate it. I'm not saying, like, the streamer can never be wrong about stuff like this, but, you know, 
Anytime, like, I bring up my opinion about... I was talking to Dan in the back channel. Like, I, I wasn't mad, but I was like, I don't want to, like... Don't ask me questions about, like, the schedule of videos and stuff anymore. Because there's, like, a contingent of people who, like, can't help themselves. And they just want to argue all the time. So if you're like, I'm putting episodes out at, like, 9 a.m., people would be like, why not 8.30? And you're like, well, I just want to put them out at 9, you know? Like, the people, they, they argue, like, real experience with, like, their hypothetical... Like hunches, and I, I think it's like it's non productive. Hey. Got her. Thanks. Got him. Okay, this could be our day. Thanks. Just by the skin of our teeth. Yeah, poles, I don't really mind. I, I mean,. They, I get that they're like low impact because there's no consequences to them. I think poles are cool though. Yeah, I'm, dude, I feel for the mods because the suggestion channel on the Discord is like the same thing. Like, and I'm, <laughs> again, this is not meant to be negative towards the community, but like so many people in the, well, so often the suggestions channel of the Discord is just stuff that's like, like, could you move this little thing like one pixel away? And I'm like, do I just have mercy on the. Like, you, you got a lot of logical arguments for something that it doesn't affect, like, the quality of life at all. Just let the mods just, just chill out. They, they got real stuff to deal with uh, on occasion. There we go. There we go. Stock is running on fumes. Sips Discord is easy, no sips ever. Uh, honestly, Sips has got it all figured out. I'm I'm being completely sincere. Yo, egg, egg of Nog, thank you as well. Like I think S Sips and I were just we're we're from close to the same era. Um but I'm just a little bit more like online than his, I, I think just for being a, by being a little bit younger. I think he has, like, an incredible ability to disconnect. Like, I'm envious of the fact that, like, when he's live, he doesn't even, like, look at the side of his computer that has the stream on it. That's crazy, man. Like, I, I can't even imagine the freedom to be, like, like, once your stream is over, you're just, like, I'm gone. That's incredible. I'm, I'm working, like, to get to that point. <laughs> You want the Twitch? Twitch drip confirmed sold. Yeah, I agree. He structured his... Well, I mean, this is the vibe I get. I, I, I can't say this for certain. He really gives off the vibe of, of somebody that, like, you know, they, they, uh, they know what they want out of their stream and they get it. Like, he's... Uh, he's, he's himself, I think. No, he reads chat, just not... Uh, not when I type F, forehead. Okay, we I, not bad on sales today. I'm still a little bit annoyed that we haven't, or like our minimum storage is not actually set up, but you know what, it is what it is. We're missing some shirts. Yeah, we're playing the campaign mode right now. <laughs> it's, um, you know, we're going to get back to phones and scones, but we're also trying to work our way up to the, uh, to get in a boutique store in a fancy shopping mall. Maybe a Rio can, maybe a Cadillac Fairview. I'm not, I'm not totally sure yet. This is the hardest level. No. I don't, I don't believe you. I'm just going to add in what we sold and then add two to everything I still don't think we're gonna have enough storage I don't know why I keep doing this <laughs> this is the hardest level I had no idea it's mostly about advertising Pop-up tech store is the hardest. 
Hold on. What what do celebrities read? Golden coin? Probably golden coin, huh? I just got to remember which of these I actually sell. Pleated salmon pants. Yes, sir. You already know the you already know the coin. Beautiful. Um, send it. Got to pay up front. That's a little much. Not even visible on the background. Yeah, it's called a magic eye puzzle. Maybe you, uh, only '90s kids are are aware of it. Buy another pallet, real quick. Buy another pallet. Buy another pallet. Forgot they were sixty bucks. This is like I I think this might be actually cheaper than pallets are in real life. Does anybody in chat work in like logistics, lumber-based logistics? I heard pallets are like they're a hot item right now. We're doing it. We're doing it. Good pallets are pretty expensive. I work in supply chain and our pallets have gone up a lot. Yeah, I don't know, like lumber is going freaking haywire right now. What's up with that, man? Wood prices are through the freaking roof. It's just trees, forehead. <laughs> it's that massive boat. I can't believe, dude, I'm telling you, two grandpas down at the Suez Canal, they'd have that thing unstuck in like 20 minutes. Two grandpas and a crowbar, that's all you need. You ever, like, I, there's so many times when I was a kid, like, my parents moved a, a decent amount, that I would just look at, like, a piece of furniture and where they were trying to get it out of, and I'd be like, there's no conceivable way that you could do that. My dad and his brother, a.k.a. my uncle, were just kind of like, ah, just, like, pivot it. And then they just, you know, like, out of friends, and it just fit. Usually scraped up the walls a little bit on the way out, but, you know, can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. I also, can I, can I be real with you? I don't know what the purpose of a pallet is. Like, why, why can't you just leave stuff on the floor? Like, wh why does it make it better to put it on a pallet instead of just putting it right on the concrete? Oh, for forklifts! Oh, you know what? It's very rare that I ask a question and the answer is like so immediately it, it it just placates me like that's that's exactly correct for forklifts oh no we have no more denim skirts yeah thank you chat you learn something new every day you know i mean there's a lot of you know i i know a little about a little um but there's, there's a lot of blind spots in my knowledge, like literally any kind of blue-collar labor. Or any white-collar labor. <laughs> really, any labor that requires you to wear a collared shirt of any material is not... Um, is not something that's in my, my wheelhouse. Excuse me, can you help me? Does my wife like Daisy Dukes? Very interesting. Shirts, huh? Bro. You're impossible to sell to. Why'd you even ask? If I was born in 1998, what was my favorite movie? Dude, that's crazy. I, I bet it's Into the Spider-Verse. That one, that one popped right into my, right into my brain. My, the whole hypothesis for that bit, and, and it's proven right, like, time and again, 
or at least it's got the right spirit, is that most people, like the average person out there, their favorite movie came out. We should just start making that blog post after hours here. When they were in their formative years of their life, like when sometime between the age of 14 and 25 is when their favorite movie came out. Celebrities, please. 277 views, no comments. Let's just get a balance going here then. That's crazy. That's like a Slay the Spire episode. <laughs> or, yes, okay, fair enough. Either that's when the movie came out, or that's when you saw the movie. Now, the smarter you think you are, the more likely that your favorite movie will be from before you were born. But I almost guarantee you saw it sometime between the age of 15 and, uh, and 25. Pause task and return. He's got me. I think he's spot on. I'm telling you, there's there's exceptions to the rule for sure. A lot of people on planet Earth, but still. What's your favorite movie? I like that's the thing. I feel like the older you get, the less likely you are to have like an easy answer to that question. Like I, I we were talking about it during Dark Souls. I used to answer um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Um, I, I know I'm supposed to go to the cash register. Okay, that's fine. I'll pause task and return. Uh, now I'm like, you know, when people are like, what's your favorite movie? I don't really, I have movies that I like, but I don't have like a, I, I don't have a movie where I'd be comfortable saying like, this is my favorite. Instead, I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. That's kind of like, that's a tough question, man. That's why and I've said this before. It's like when you ask people what their favorite food is. And look, I, I don't have the academic uh, pedigree to back this up, but I don't think that they actually analyze the foods that they remember and then think about what their favorite is. I don't think they do a comparative analysis. I think instead it just accesses their recall of what they have said in the past that their favorite food is. And as a result, I find the question meaningless. I find it invalid. Not to say you can't get some information out of it, but I, I, I don't think... When you ask someone what their favorite food is, I don't think you get their favorite food. I think you get what they've said their favorite food is. Don't hit me with four question marks. It's a simple sentence. Unpack, please. What's your favorite food then? I don't know, man. Like the honest answer for me, what's my favorite food? I don't know. It's the food I'm eating right now. The food that's that's closest to me, the food that's that's in front of me, or the food that I'm gonna eat later that day. You're eating right now? Well, <laughs> you insist. Shirts. I'm in desperate need. Thanks. Got him. No, I believe like. Look, if somebody says like, "Oh, my favorite food's pizza," I believe that in their head they believe that their favorite food is pizza. All I'm saying is, I think if you put them in a brain helmet with the sensors on that could analyze the activity and the you know, the areas of their brain that are that are activating and lighting up when they when they eat, and then you fed them, like, every food under the sun, including foods that they were aware of in the past, I think you would find pizza is probably near the top, but maybe not the very best. What if my favorite food is lentil dal? I mean, that's a delicious food, don't get me wrong. It's no pizza, but... I'm just saying that, like, I'm not saying that I'm trying to, uh, you know, be super pedantic when people ask me these questions. It's more like, um, you know, I think 
It's an impossible question to answer. Like, I'm putting the question on trial. Yeah, the Fantano shirts are doing numbers. Everybody wants to be a YouTuber. Didn't you see the post from the Venture Capitalist? A psychologist called Kahneman won a Nobel Prize in economics for basically proving what you're saying. All right, this is where I have to come clean and uh, reveal that I have been listening to the audiobook of Daniel Kahneman's um, Thinking Fast and Slow Before Bed. It's possible that some of that, the content contained within that audiobook has um, seeped into my subconscious and influenced my uh, supposed plagiarism. So really, surprise, Chad, you weren't arguing with a streamer, you were arguing with a Nobel Prize winner. Bet you feel pretty stupid now, or pretty smart, because, um, I don't know, maybe you won. Okay, just, it, we up most things by two, by two. We got to continue marketing to celebrities, we got $570. Can we hire staff in this one? No, that's crazy, man. We can expand. Imagine learning stuff. The objective of this level is to generate $3,000 in turnover and also um, become a true legend within the genre of celebrity. So how are we looking at in celebrities? We're getting some. How do they like us? I was quickly served. What a great store. And I didn't even know. It was right here. The heck does that mean? City analysis. There's so many. There's 150,000. No, wait, hold on. So 1.5 million people. I mean, that's like 400,000 celebrities, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Where do we live? Monaco? <clears throat> Who's your favorite Nobel Prize winner? Um, I mean, like, I really like thinking fast and slow, but if you're going to push me, I might say Schiller. This is where you just hope that you picked a Nobel Prize winner who didn't, like, tweet something terrible at some point. I didn't mean to leave. I hit the keys. I meant to hit the binder. I meant to kick your phone. Nah, he's good. Let's go. Campaign mode, please. I uh, I like the guy who invented insulin. I believe that's Frederick Banting. Also based. Schiller turned out to be the Zodiac Killer. Oh, son of a... Yes, Banting is, um, is indeed Canadian. There's a lot of famous Canadians in the, in the world of medicine. Not as many as, as some other countries, but I would say, you know, a, a, a respectable amount per capita. Gotta make sure this post gets out there today. <clears throat> Lion doubted. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Penfield, I smell burned toast. There's a, I mean, there's a lot of famous people, I guess, from every country, but... Uh, a lot of famous Canadians you wouldn't know, like the guy who uh, invented basketball. People, this is my impression of Americans. Uh, a, a, an immigrant invents something in America, it's American. An American invents something in another country, it's American. No matter what, if, if American, uh, either an American building or American DNA was involved in the creation of, uh, of something, it's officially American by, uh, by their standards.
heritage moments, dude. Canadians, by contrast, never do that. Exactly. Alexander Graham Bell, straight up Canadian. Thank you. Every country does it to some extent. I, I will. Well, I, I can't say that. Many countries do it to some extent. Let's put it that way. Like in Korea, you're not supposed. At least this is the way Kate has told this to me. You're not supposed to be able to hold South Korean citizenship and another country's citizenship concurrently. But if you're like good at basketball, they might be known to make an exception. If you're good enough at basketball to to be on the national team. Maybe they'll be like, okay, you can you can have two country citizenships, cause come on. Hey, got a second. Hey, got a second? Yeah. Is there shirts? I have no interest. Okay, what about pants? Very interesting. In that case, take one of those. Dink, dunk, 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 da dunk. Dude, I don't know. Are we? I, I forget selling things. I think I just gotta make blog posts, dude. Like I think that's the. Oh yeah, there's no work in progress. Of course, we got five comments on that one. Now we're talking. Get that storytelling up there, and then just push the envelope a little bit. There you go. I honestly, I don't care if they're at the. Uh, I don't care if they're at the register. Just walk out. We gotta make the blog posts. Just use the self checkout! Uh, uh. Your Yelp's gonna get hit. You're not wrong. That's the other thing about, I don't know if you guys have been here for three hours, but the other thing about the every restaurant on Kitchen Nightmares America is like convinced that Yelp is out to sabotage them. It is? No, but like most of the... I, I, I see what you're saying. Like they, they try to get you to pay for like, you know, sponsored coverage and like hide bad reviews and stuff like that. But these people are just running like garbage uh, establishments. Thanks. And then people are like honestly giving their opinion. And they're like, this is a conspiracy. Are you a self-checkout sort of guy? Um, it, it depends. I'll be honest with you, like, if I have the choice between, like, the, the grocery store that I go to often does not have self-checkout yet, which is truly asinine. Well, big spender. Um, but there's a pharmacy, like, down the street that sells some grocery items, and it, uh, it has self-checkouts. So sometimes I will do, like, some of my grocery shopping at the pharmacy. I know it sounds like real North American hours. Excuse me. Um, just because like you can go to the self checkout and not have to wait in line as much. Yeah, we, we I mean, you, you can't buy like fruits and vegetables at it so you don't have the scale. Uh, for that kind of stuff, but you, you know, it, it weighs it and then goes like, uh, unexpected item in bagging area, and you're like, that's the item you should be expecting. We don't have those here, it's heaven. I, it's been almost like, it must be at least a year since I've gone on this rant. But like this, it, it drives me crazy that this self-checkout has like such strict um, testing. When if you wanted to steal, you could have just walked out instead of pretending to go through the self-checkout. Like it literally you're just making the, the flow rate start like it, the flow rate goes so slow. Because anytime there's something that like the, the weight is off by like 5% or something like that, 
it's like, well, you must be stealing. You gotta like get a, a big red light goes off and then you gotta hire a staff member, or not hire, sorry, too much king of retail. Like a, st a staff member has to come over and be like, that looks good, but they don't even check it. Instead, they just like, it, it's, it, it's a task where, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the spirit of the task is that they're supposed to check and make sure you're not stealing anything, but because it happens so much, they don't actually check to see if you're stealing anything. It's just a race to see how fast they can put in their employee code. And you're like, well, what's the point? Like, why, why don't you just like make the, the tolerance on the weights so much better? Or it's so much looser, I should say. The self-checkout that cried wolf. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like when, you know, it, and I get fire safety and testing the fire alarms is like a good thing. I'm, and believe you me, like I said, I don't have the uh, the pedigree to be saying stuff like this with any confidence. But I do wonder sometimes, like the fire code has fire drills like once a month. And nobody in like these big apartment buildings ever leaves their units anymore. Because literally 100% of the time the fire alarms have gone off, it's always been a drill. Sometimes they do them at like 6 in the morning on a Saturday. You, you put on your clothes, you go outside, and then like it's just a drill. So now I'm like, one of these days there's going to be like a real fire and everybody's going to die. The fire alarm has lost its the alarm portion. It's now, it's like the fire reminder. But at least we know the alarms work. Same thing happens in my dorm. I'm telling you. It, it... Look, the alarm has to work. They, everyone agrees. It would be really bad if there was a fire and the alarms didn't work. So they must be tested. But when they're tested so much that the alarm loses its desired effect, you're like... People literally are just like, I'll just wait inside. And if I see smoke, I'll just jump out my window instead. Better than what happens in my work. The the alarm never gets tested, so when it goes off, nobody knows what it is. I mean, I hear you on that one, but I am also like, you know, maybe maybe that's good. Like, if an alarm went off and I didn't know what it was, I would be like, yo, <laughs> we got to get out of here. All right, we yeah, I I agree with the the comments. We got to go a little heavier on the marketing. We probably got like one day here. We got one more day. Boom, baby. Shirts. And then just when you think you, you, you learned everything about the store, guess what? We got pants, too. Send it. Dun, 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 dun. I swear to God, that's the Among Us noise. Oh, no. Is that is the um, Among Us like meme cringe photo that keeps getting posted on on Twitter? Is that Germa? I'm still learning a lot about this platform on a daily basis. Yes, it is. Okay. I thought so. How does he feel about that? Yes, but he's never played the game. <laughs> it is, and he hates it. Oh, that's unfortunate. He despises it. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> Dude, we're like, we're full up here. We got no yellow flannels, though. Yeah, they should have used the dump truck photo instead. I agree. He secretly loves it? I don't know. I, I don't know anything about streaming, man. Or streamers, for that matter.
All I know about streams, I, I have a very simple streaming methodology. I told it to Dan yesterday. In my follow, once I follow you on Twitch, it becomes a, a contest to get my viewership. I'm not, you know, some people might say I have a bit of an inflated uh, ego about that, but you know, it'll be like 9 p.m. I got something up on the right monitor, which will be Twitch, and then I'm like setting my videos. I look at my follower li the list of channels I follow. Whoever's playing the weirdest game is getting the view. Last night, GTA 5, Isaac Valheim, GTA 5, Isaac, King of Retail, Among Us, uh, Creative. We're going straight to that, that King of Retail stream. If Chib's live, he's he's usually at the top of the list. Chib takes uh, he takes his content casually, which which makes it good, I think. Chib's always doing some some interesting stuff. I respect it. So oh, don't be mad. I had to make a post. I was posting. I go for a community that I like instead of what's being streamed. Low, low key, heavy insult to me, but a big compliment to chat, so I'll take it. You know, you, you take the good with the bad on that one. Are you gonna play more city driving? I would like to do more games in the theme of city driving. I probably won't play more of that one in particular. It, it also made uh, some people on YouTube angrier than I've ever seen in my entire life. But that's, that's to be expected. <laughs> Pause task and return. People were really upset that the game called it a U-turn and then I called it a J-turn, but actually it's a K-turn. J illuminated it for me and he was right. It's not a J-turn. A J-turn is when you're driving in reverse and you you yeet the wheel and uh, pull the handbrake so that without ever losing speed, you 180 your car. A K-turn is also known as a three-point turn. It is when you, you pull forward at an angle and then you reverse at the opposite angle and it's like a, a, a surrogate U-turn. Yeah, J turn is a stunt drive, and <laughs> not not something you should be doing at the hey, at the Albertsons. High standards. Thanks, dude. The store is too popular. No, so you got it confused. The game called it a U turn, but it was not a U turn. I thought that a three-point turn was also called a J-turn, but it's not. I was one letter off. It's called a K-turn. So you can see the confusion that many people in chat were like, it says do a U-turn, and then I had to be like, yeah, but the arrows on the ground are like a three-point turn. And then there was the secondary error of me being like, it's a K, but I called it a J. You don't use the handbrake for a J turn? All right, Stuntman Mike. I didn't realize we had uh, Jason Statham stunt double for the transporter in chat. Is I if, if I never make a J turn in my life, that would be considered a huge uh, benefit for me. Considering like it, I think it's something you do when you're driving at highway speed in the wrong direction. I don't even know if the Koenigsegg has a handbrake. So, like, I'm, I'm hoping that I never have to deal with it. I'm not sure what to look at. Have you considered green pants? That's perfect. What can I say? I, I know my audience. I'm thinking of buying this. All right. Um, do you have financial instruments, cash or cash equivalents? Do you need an instruction on how to purchase it, or you, you just need somebody to push you over the edge?
Do you take crypto? Dude, I, if I owned a store, 100% I would take crypto. Not necessarily because I'm a believer in crypto, but because I think it would be really funny. Like, I'm just waiting for it because there's so much volatil volatility in the industry, right? I'm just waiting for the day that somebody like buys, uh, you know, a Tesla for like $50,000 in Bitcoin. And then 10 years later, either Tesla is owned because that's like, you know, $700 now instead of 50000 or the dude who bought it is owned because instead, like the car that he paid fifty thousand dollars for, he spent a million dollars worth of Bitcoin on. I think that is that's a commitment to comedy. Would you accept bartering? No. That's my dream for for when millennials take over the world, which is, you know, only, you know, a few decades away. Um, we we will, I, I promise you, we will remove bartering from the car buying experience. Bartering and, and haggling will be a thing of the past. You want to you wanna haggle? Go to Facebook Marketplace. I'm not sure what to look at. What about this salmon shirt? Looks promising. Thanks. Couldn't say it better myself. Right, I want to pay what it says on the tag, Dan's game. The big haggle has performed a psyop on you. The re what it says on the tag is higher than the price you should pay because haggling exists. If haggling didn't exist, the price on the tag would be lower. It's the haggle is basically like a tax you pay if you're a, a, an easygoing customer. What? I won? I'm the greatest of all time. I can't believe it. Take courses? At the city university, vacation ends in a later version. Permits and advice, get administrative counseling. But I, I feel fine. I don't know what they want from me. <laughs> if you go to city hall, you can start your company now. Yo, let's go! <laughs> Uh, this is a vending machine that sells smoked salmon. Hi, and welcome to City Hall. I don't remember seeing you around here. Would you like a short introduction? Yes, please. As mentioned, this is the City Hall. We are interested in helping out the entrepreneurs of the city to get their businesses blooming. Looks like we're not in Vancouver. For this, we have various employees around the building who can assist you and answer questions. They can help you creating companies, buying lots, and getting building permits. Just go to the cor corresponding office to see the help you need. I feel like I'm like I'm at the aquarium or something. Why are they all just standing around? Hello. My job is to assist you in the various tasks needed for creating and managing a company. Um, I would like to create a corporation. Great, let's get started. 500 bucks? Yeah, sure. To apply for a new corporation, please fill out the papers on the table. I hereby apply for permission to register and open a company by the name of World's Really Real Most Handsome Boy LL. There's a character limit. Enter company name 03045671 LTD. The purpose of this company is to navigate in the retail industry and make a lot of money. I accept the full responsibility of the company and all money that comes with it. Ned Flanders. Okay. Yeah. I, any advice on how to get a good start? Get a solid financial foundation. It takes a fair amount of money to open a store. You need to be able to afford inventory, articles, and other costs. 
You can earn money by taking contracted work for some of the other retailers. You will need to save money for surviving during the, the pre-profit era. Um, tell me about renting lots. Renting is the safe way to go if you want to start off easy. The only cost is the daily rent. And if it doesn't work out, you can cancel at any time. Hello? Hello? Tell me more about the employment possibilities. Pop-up stores. At the gas stations, you have a chance of running a pop-up store. It only exists for 10 days. See how much money you can make during these 10 days. Since these amounts are saved for each company, try and improve the record each time. Honestly, I want to work here, man. This seems like the easiest job of all time. I would like to save my game. This is cool, though, man. Like, we, we can now start our, uh, our real business empire. Yo, we could, have a, we could have an airport kiosk. That's, dude, I would love to, to serve, like, hot dogs in the airport or something. like, Or be at that store that sells chargers to people who forgot that, that, to pack the charger when they're going overseas. Get to meet all sorts of interesting folks. It's quite loud over there, though. Definitely is loud. Oh, not as loud as it is over here, though. What happens if you go out? You know what? We got to save. Otherwise, I'm going to get out. I'm going to be here for like the next two 